Hey everybody, final thoughts time for Retreat to Darkmoor, which is such a clever, clever, clever game. Action phase, I mean, they are really on a roll. They're, you know, just putting out smart, smart, neat design after design after design, and everyone completely different, completely do, and really very, very unique. I can't think of another game. I mean, I have seen some other games that have to do with queuing, like uh, Kolyeka and whatnot, but I mean, the, the whole conceit of this game that, you know what, I don't have to be faster than the lion, I just have to be faster than you when both of us are, you know, is just so clever. Just make sure you're constantly jostling for position in these queues, making sure you're not at the back of the line so you won't get picked off, and then, you know, the area majority thing going on, and so much variability. All the different special um, functions of the different locations, the different heroes, the different characters, um, and, you know, every turn is a very, very tough choice as you try to manipulate the circumstances so that you can get some kind of really big move, get all your guys to safety while leaving somebody else in your dust so that they get picked off. Really sharp. Really mean... Um, you know, make no mistake, this is probably a bit too mean for me and Jen, not, definitely not our kind of thing. And also, I'll be honest, it works with two. It's clever, you can come up with some really cool moves, but this is definitely a more the merrier type of game. The more people you have all trying to jostle and putting, you know, more and more of their minions in these lines and trying not to be the last person in the line that pushes over the top to make the attack, but, you know, waiting for that right card in their hand that they can use to manipulate stuff and maneuver things around, the more people, the more players you have, the better. This game works. It's, it's, it's okay. It's good as a two-player game, but I've actually was lucky enough to play Play this at BGG Con last year with the guys from Action Phase game as a three-player game, and it was immediately so much more interesting and compelling. I wouldn't say that you won't enjoy this as a two-player game, but you should really seek this out to play predominantly with three or four, and then maybe every once in a while you'd want to play it with two, where it becomes even more cutthroat. Um, you know, it, it's just um, you know everything is all about doing every you know, outthinking you know your one specific opponent. Um, but long story short, while it may not be a game for me and Jen, that hardly matters because it's a really, really smart design. And hopefully, from the brief run-through I just did, you have a pretty good idea of what it feels like to play and whether it might be right for you and yours. If you're looking for a really, really clever, different, outside-of-the-box, very, very unique setting with lovely art, really great presentation, um, and gameplay that's very, very thinking, but also very, very... Um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, thematic. Thematically grounded, smart, interesting, dramatic, makes funny stories. <clears throat> Retreat to Darkmoor might be something you want to check out. And like I said, it's on Kickstarter. There's the eye. Click the eye up in the top left corner of the screen so you can go check out the page, you know, see all the particulars. Um, action phase, I think they've proven themselves now. They are definitely know what they're doing. They put out high quality productions of very, very clever games. And Retreat to Darkmoor is the latest. And that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Now, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, as always, please let me know. Uh, if I made any mistakes along the way, probably got a little confused here or there. Hopefully, Paolo's notes will set you straight. And otherwise, I hope you have a very, very nice day. Talk to you later. So long. Bye-bye.